I developed a mass in my right ventricle um, that had resolved when I found out I had celiac and I went gluten-free and I had been told I was very stable and I was okay to be pregnant and um, we got the okay to go ahead with that. At 21 weeks, they pretty much told me that my life was really in danger. Um, most likely, they would need to do an emergency C-section in which he may or may not live and I may or may not live. And I, I just wanted to kind of give him a chance. The quality of care at this hospital is just, that's what got me through it. The nurses are unbelievable. They were in there chit-chatting with me and making sure I was happy and like laughing with me and making me laugh when I was having a hard time. And then, you know, in the first three weeks of being here, I lost 25 pounds of fluid and felt better than I'd felt in years. So the whole time we were so freaking out about my heart giving out and the plan to do the, the um, labor in a, in a Shapiro operating room and all the cardiologists need to be there. And then, you know, it wasn't even a, my heart giving out or anything like that, he was just ready to come. I will need some sort of intervention on my heart at some point, but my hope is to make it go a few years and then with all the research and stem cell stuff and, and new ventricular assist devices, there's got to be something in the next few years that's less invasive and less risky than a heart transplant, but for right now at least I can raise my son. I never ever thought it would be like this. I just, I didn't know like you could love something so much when he's just having eye contact with me and gazing at me and he just wants my hand and he knows whose hand is my hand. It means a strong gift from God, which he really is, because before any of this even happened, he was already a miracle. We, we tried four IVF cycles to get pregnant because of all my autoimmune issues, and Ethan was one of only one egg um, on that last cycle. We, we fought so hard to have him, and I'm just like, we feel so blessed that he's here and doing so well. <laughs>